gonna give you a quick, excuse the bumping, a quick uh, drive up to the seawall here in Galveston, Texas. So enjoy the video. It's a beautiful sunny day. 60 degrees, water's very calm, very calm. I was here about three or four days ago and boy, was it rough. And for vacationers to come to Galveston, you're gonna, as we take a left onto Seawall Boulevard here, 21st Street, very popular area for vacationers. You guys gotta be very, very careful along these jetties and all the structures, lots and lots of rip currents. So y'all be very careful. I'm gonna take you uh, down a few, uh, down a ways, and then I'm gonna turn around and you're gonna see the beautiful Galvez Hotel. We're right at 19th Street. We have a cruise terminal here in Galveston. You can take a cruise right outside, right outside of Galveston. And if you look off to the right, I'm gonna to try to video it in. You'll see the cruise ship actually out there. Sorry about the, the distraction with the hand but you'll see the cruise ship out there. I believe it's a carnival cruise. We also got a beautiful, looks like a Husky. If you see another thing, but that's the cruise ship. I think it goes out to Cozumel and a few other places. But Galveston's a great secret here. I mean, it's really cleaning up well. It's been cleaning up for the longest time with short-term rentals, Airbnb going on the awesome seafood and they have other types of you know they have Italian they have seafood they have beautiful hotels you can't go wrong it's a it's very uh, affordable and if you're in Houston and Dallas even close it's definitely worth worth the trip down here weather can be unpredictable I'm just hoping you enjoy this little scenic drive I'm gonna turn around. Galveston is great. I mean, it's definitely worth taking the family, your kids, your parents down here to Galveston. I'm gonna try to turn around here. It's, I would say it's not too busy down here right now. It's the end of spring break. down on the east end of the island by Benno Seafood. So I'm going to make a U-turn. And I, I highly have to say this in this video or I wouldn't be doing a whole lot of justice, but you have to very, very... Guys, I had uh, some technical issues, but we're back on. I'm going to show you the Tillman Fertitta Pleasure Pier to the left. You'll see the the rides, the Ferris wheel, the, the needle. It's it's a pier that goes out over the Gulf. It's fairly pricey. It really is. So look for coupons and deals because it is expensive just to go out on that pier. I'm just being honest. Is it worth it? I mean, when you got your kids, yeah, it, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be worth the memory, but it is expensive for what you're getting. You gotta be careful for all the crazy people not paying attention. That guy doesn't know what planet he's on. Afraid he's gonna walk out in front of a car. They do have a trolley that's worth taking the kids on. They have a duck tour. It's a boat that is amphibious and it also drives on the uh, roads it's, uh, probably holds about 40-50 people and it, it takes off from the seawall and goes all through the historic areas of Galveston and then it goes out onto the bay and then it returns to the seawall it's probably about an hour tour they have ghost tours so I'm going to show you the historic pleasure pier. Lots of good restaurants here. 
got Bubba Gumps. This is all Tillman Fertitta properties. Landry's, Saltgrass. He has uh, Bubba Gumps Shrimp Company. And it, I, I have good, I've had good experiences at all his establishments. So he has um, fish tails coming up here. And on the island, there's also probably got over 40, 50 little neighborhood bars all over the place. Little hole in the walls, they're all over the place. I have no idea how they stay in business, but they're all, they have all their little customers and as I'm by far not a professional speaker, so I'm just trying to fish tails. You can see right in front of us, that's definitely a fine restaurant. It's right on the corner of Rosenberg and Seawall and Rosenberg is a very nice street with a lot of beautiful homes and decorations. I'm just gonna go down here a little further, then I'm gonna turn around and you're gonna be able to see the Pleasure Pier from the close, from a better angle. And I, I take that back since we're past the Pleasure Pier, uh, pla pet the, past the Pleasure Pier, it's packed on the island right now. It's very crowded. When I was going towards the east, it looked dead. And now that I'm coming into the heart of the island, it's absolutely jam-packed. They got basketball goals and all kinds of things you can do on the island to have fun, as well as the beach. They've got this place called The Float. It's a hamburger place. Very, very nice. Got a little biker bar here called the Poop Deck. It's always packed with bikers and people looking to just hit, sit out on the uh, balcony and watch the gulf. And here's a place, this is one of my personal favorites and I highly encourage y'all to go to it. It's called The Spot. It's on the right hand side. I love The Spot. It's basically a hamburger place with a lot of great desserts, all types of uh, types of fresh hamburgers and seafood platters. It's pretty crowded usually. I'm gonna look to make a U-turn here. Got trolleys that go up and down the seawall that'll drop you off. So if you don't have a car by any chance, you don't have a car, I would highly encourage y'all to use the trolley. So I'm gonna make a U-turn here. You're gonna see a lot of ocean. We have the Brick House Tavern and Joe's Crab Shack. And if you're looking for a place to stay, leave it in the comments section and I can refer you to places that are very affordable as well as short-term rentals, Airbnbs. I can help you out if you leave it in the comments section if you ever plan your trip to Galveston. We plan many a trips here for people, so we do know the places to refer you to. I mean, there's just so many, you'll, you'll be overwhelmed and it's within a seven mile radius. You see a nice little McLaren, a Ferrari, a Lamborghini. This is amazing on the seawall. Three cars, a Lamborghini and a McLaren right next to each other with a vet mixed in. you enjoyed this video we have the pleasure pier the roller coasters and the ferris wheels and i'm going to tell you it, it's definitely an experience to do it but it's nothing that you're gonna just say oh my god i'm glad we did it it's it is pricey i want to warn you and i don't want you to feel ripped off I'd look for a special deal online, Google Pleasure Pier, look for discount tickets. Because it's there's not a whole lot on the pier. It's very, very uh, congested into the, you know, it's something that you could possibly do in a couple of hours, really. I tell you that between the, the clean beaches and the water, it's really cleaned up a lot over the years. You know, Galveston used to, you know, be on the dirty side, but it's no longer like that at all. 
we come down here several times a week and I promise you it's a nice beach especially if you go further east where, where it's a little uh, away from place uh, the main main and I highly tell you guys be very careful around these structures there's so many riptides and so many sad stories and my heart goes out to the families who've lost loved ones because it's horrible you don't expect to go on vacation and lose somebody on your right you're gonna see the boat that does the duck tours I say it's a boat it's actually a, a big truck that goes out under the water it has a propeller like I said it's amphibious it's got life jackets and everything but that's it right there duck tours Galveston duck tours land and water and um, I don't know it, it's both a, a truck and a boat and they have all the typical fast food restaurants here's a really fun place to go to if you guys are on the island is Murdoch's it's super clean they got beers margaritas it's not a drinking establishment but it's a souvenir shop but they have a place to get a cool drink even a Gatorade uh, a Coke Pepsi whatever you like it's um, absolutely beautiful it's right here on the right it's a big pier you can sit in a rocking chair and have a beer or margarita but it's by it's not a restaurant it's just they just have a place where you can get drinks you can bring your pets here and take them to the beach there's lots of dogs like I said if your kids are around uh, okay on your right we got the Grand Galvez and it's absolutely beautiful it's on the left hand side you'll see it it's been completely restored they've got a haunted room there you can read about it online it's the Galvez Hotel and they've completely renovated this it's absolutely beautiful and they got the most amazing I mean the most amazing Sunday brunch buffet crab fresh oysters breakfast they have everything there I mean it's it's pricey but for what you get you can't beat the deal I want to say it's about 80 to 85 bucks a person but it does come with champagne and um, drinks you can get juices any kind of drinks you want but it does it's a champagne brunch included and it's very it's worth it I promise you it's first class Matter of fact, I, I, I need to go. Like I said, they got cruise ships out there. It's a sunny, sunny day here. It's, it's fairly chilly though. 60 degrees. Everybody's out on the beach. As we go, as we go east, you have the double tree. You're gonna have the saltgrass steakhouse. It's a chain of steakhouses owned by Tillman, but you can't beat the view. You're gonna see the Gulf and it's priced reasonably. You can go to the historic Strand. It's the historic part of Galveston where they have old homes and trolleys and businesses and resale shops and retail shops. It's definitely, you have to go to the Strand. Definitely recommend you go to LA Kings. It's a chocolate and candy store. And they make a lot of their stuff right there. So you're gonna enjoy this video. I hope you subscribe and like the video. I'm doing this as I'm driving, so I hope the content is okay. On my next videos, I'll take you through some of the historic areas of Galveston so you can enjoy the scenic tour. We have people come from Utah, Florida, Michigan, a lot of people from the Midwest, all over all over the country come and visit us down here it's it's absolutely amazing this place was packed during uh, the last two to three years it's kind of slowed down a little but this place was absolutely packed with people now's a good time to come visit historic Galveston Island and I highly recommend Pareto Beach you'll see the sign it's on the east end we're at 10th Street they're doing a lot of revitalizing down here so 
guys. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna have this video come to an end. I hope you guys leave all the comments for me. I'm gonna kind of try to end this video as I as I come to the end. I'll, I'm gonna try to get a few more things in because this is where a lot of the growth is coming. Condos and high rises. You got Mario's Italian restaurant to the left. You got a lot of small little restaurants, but we're on the very far east end of the island. You have even a McDonald's. We're gonna enter the historic Stewart Beach. Stewart Beach was a very popular place and still is a very popular place. But I'm gonna to try to turn around right up here. And I'm gonna come back down Broadway. And then I'm gonna end this video so you can see some of the, the growth. If you turn right, you'll see Stewart Beach. make a u-turn you may see a beautiful if, if the camera catches it you may see a beautiful high-rise called the emerald it's private residences and you may see the trolley that i was telling you about coming up on the left i think it cost a dollar to go as long as you want to go on it and you can get off anytime it's air conditioned you can see out all the windows so I'm gonna take you down Broadway just a little bit. You'll see some historic homes and then I'm gonna stop the video and y'all enjoy the rest of your day. I'm gonna turn down into this neighborhood. It's probably gonna be 10th Street. You'll see some beautiful restored residences. A lot of uh, older homes are all, I really love it here. Then we're going right up towards the seawall again. This 10th Street will take us to the seawall. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll try to respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.